There's no comparison. You know, London's a developed city in the arts. Um, it's got a rich history of multicultural performances and equates almost in its nascent embryonic phases of developing that culture, that scene. So they're completely two diverse worlds. Tell us a little bit about your music for people who haven't had the pleasure of, of seeing some of your <laughs> sure. stuff. Sure, thank you. Um, I define it as alternative electronic. I work a lot within the arts outside of music. And so um, I use uh, live instrumentation, electronic music, and I try to fuse those worlds in a live scenario. So it, it kind of blends or blurs the lines between analog and, and digital. And so you kind of develop this sort of textual approach to how you perform live or how it sounds live at least. Talking of which, let's have a little taster of some of your music. <laughs> taster of your music there and obviously that sort of music there's a huge audience for in London but how big is the alternative electronic scene in places like Kuwait? Well I mean it's like I said it's in its nascent phases you're trying to develop it like you would any other scene or culture and that requires you know many people to be on board be it from artists, collaborators, sponsors, um, institutions but there also has to be sort of this educational foundation to doing so so that there is an acceptance and understanding to doing it um, some key partners of mine back home are the Red Bull or the Red Bull Music Academy, which we hosted this year and launched an alternative Arab festival with. So um, I'm excited about it because, I mean, it's very rare in this day and age that you can kind of build something from the ground up, even though we seem to have access to social media, but that doesn't necessarily reflect what's happening on the ground in the real world. Mm. Now, you are performing as part of the Shubak Festival in London in the coming week. Give us a flavour of what we have to look forward to. So, I start a residency at the Barbican's Art Gallery on Monday. And the idea of the residency is that I'm going to be recording um, artists who are in residence, people who stop by the studio, and I'm, I'm basing my residency on three themes, and my performance on three themes, which, are, which is borders, community, and identity. Um, I've collaborated with nine artists to put this performance together, so my residency will, will culminate into a live performance on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. And it's a mix of dance, theatre, light manipulation, <laughs> arts and music. And what I'm most excited about is there is no sort of gap between stage and audience. It's an immersive experience where the audience will be right up front with us. And uh, the idea is that it's going to have this, like I said, sort of textured approach and staged approach. So you can immerse people into the sound, the visual, the light, and we'll start to communicate messages. I'm most hoping not to you know, go down the entertainment realm, but rather go down an emotive and experiential route.